Have you ever wondered exactly how a safe is built? Well, let's take a look. I used to own this safe. It's got a key, numerical keypad for a combo entry, and even biometric scanning. I slept well at night knowing all my valuables were safe. Then one day, I did a Google search on how to open a sentry safe with a magnet. Imagine my surprise when I found out it's quicker to open the safe using a magnet than actually using the keypad. And it can be done by a child. So, to make the best out of a bad situation, since I own a plasma cutter, I said let's salvage all the steel out of this thing and I can use it for other projects. We'll start with this hefty looking hinge. Hmm, that's weird. The plasma cutter doesn't seem to be cutting it. Huh, that's why, because it's made out of aluminum, and it doesn't seem to be grounded to the safe. Well, in that case, we'll just take it off with the cutting wheel. Well, look at that. The hinge isn't a metal rod, it's just two pins. I was sure hoping to salvage a nice metal rod. Now I've got two useless pins. Alright, let's try the plasma cutter again. Thinking I'm going to be cutting through some serious steel, I just start out going real slow. After the first cut, we have another surprise. This isn't real steel. If it is, it seems to be somewhat thinner than sheet metal. Alright, let's reduce the current on the plasma cutter and start cutting quicker. In case you're wondering about my straight edge, it's a piece of steel with neodymium magnets mounted on the bottom of it. When you put it in place, it stays in place. Underneath seems to be some sort of white clay. It looks like it was liquid poured into place and then it hardened. Let's dig it out and see if we can get to the steel that's underneath. Really? No second layer of steel? Just the plastic interior of the safe. Man, this salvage operation is really turning into a disappointment. Well, let's keep cutting. Here's the inside of the safe, just a big plastic box. Hopefully the guy that does my recycling will enjoy that. There you have it. If you want to know what this $300 safe is made out of, four buckets of clay, a plastic cube, a door that's the strongest part of the safe, and some very thin metal. 
I do have to say that at $300, this is some of the most expensive project metal I've ever had. But this story does have a happy ending. I did buy a new safe, one that's magnet proof. Of course, it cost me everything I own, so I don't have anything valuable to put back in the safe, but it sure looks good. Thanks for watching.